What's up, YouTube? My name is Bedivere, and welcome to another episode of Zero to Hero. Today, we're going to be diving back into Factorio. I got an awesome episode planned for you guys. I'm really excited about it. If you're a new viewer or returning viewer, thank you so much for clicking on that thumbnail and spending your time with me today. Uh, if you like the content, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't, and make sure to turn on your notification bell just to know when the next video drops. Um, I also stream every Thursday and Sunday over at twitch.tv slash bedivere. So if you like the content again and you just wanna hang out or you, you wanna have more of a one-on-one -on -one with me, I'd love to meet you there. So check me out then Thursday and Sunday afternoon. Uh, yeah, so let's dive into the episode for today. Uh, in the last episode, we kind of fleshed out our red and green science right here. Uh, we finished that out. The one thing that we need for this is we need somewhere for this science to go. And I mentioned in a couple episodes past that we didn't build the mall here just because it would extend into the ore patch. However, this is a nice little pocket to start a little science loop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, any signs that I make, I'm gonna transfer over to the other side of the belt um, and then bust down along this path here and then cross back over into this little science loop here. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we'll take this out and I only have a few more belts. Whoops. Okay, that should be good to go. Okay, so that's gonna go under. I'm gonna go ahead and get some more belts and just pick up any more supplies that I think I might need. A thousand belts, yes please. What else are we missing? Actually, while we're here, we can recycle some of this iron plate. Uh, we're gonna need some power poles, some big ones. Uh, let's take a stack of that. What else would we need? We already got 20 labs. We got yellow transport belts. We got yellow inserters. We're gonna need some long-handed inserters. So let's go ahead, grab a hundred of that. And then while we're on it, okay, so that's gonna be producing. Let's ride this belt down. Wonderful. Now I think I'll, I will cross, I'll cross everything before um, this little power pole here. So I'm gonna cross, that's gonna be the third belt out. And this is gonna be the inside belt, like so. Whoops, there we go, okay. Actually, let's just go ahead and add all three of them. Let's go ahead here. Add this belt and then add the underground crossing it just so that we don't forget later. Okay. So what are we gonna do with this red and green signs? Well, we are going to do something like so. So I'm gonna do a little kind of mock up here. Right? Is that how is that how it's gonna work? I think so. And then have something like this where the three belts loop around. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. So let's see how much room we're actually going to need. Actually, let's stop this. So this first belt is gonna be our outside most belt. 
So we're gonna see how much space we need. So if this is gonna be the outside most belt, it could just add on here without any issue. That's fine, theoretically. Um, we're probably gonna need an extra space here just in case we need to do some underground inserters, which we are gonna have to do. Like I said, I'm trying to build, or like I said in a previous video, I'm trying to build everything from scratch for you guys. Um, but we do wanna try to get all three belts looping. Okay, so that's our outside belt. That's gonna be our furthermost signs. Now the next one coming in is gonna be, let's just add it here for argument's sake. We're going to need, let's see. We're going to need a space for it to come in like so. And then last but not least, whoops. The belt going this way. We're gonna need something like this, right? Yes, okay. Okay, does that make sense? I think that works, okay. So it's going in, merging to the innermost lane and that's gonna loop around. The second lane is going past it and merging here and looping around. And then this outside lane is going under here, under here and then merging over here. Yeah, okay, that should work. Go ahead and bring some power over. Okay, so now the first level of this is just going to be really simple on the outside like this. But we're gonna wanna, we're gonna wanna do this a few times. So that's four. Uh, no, four, eight, 12, man, I can't count, 16, 20, that's gonna be 20. How many more can I add? 24, 28. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, let's go ahead and close this off. That way the science can start, whoops looping around. Let's fill in the power poles. Okay. How many how many labs did I end up doing? Yeah, 28. All right, that's fine. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and start putting in the inserters because nothing can be researched without it. Perfect. Awesome. So, we officially have red and green science automated on a loop and labs researching. So that's good to be left completely alone now, um, unless we add more labs, which we can do here in a second. Um, I do want to, let's go ahead and close out this loop. 
want to make sure that this is just done. I don't have to think about it later and I can just worry about adding some new sciences. Man, that lab noise is a tad loud. Might just be my headphones, I'm not sure. Okay. So that's all done. Now, obviously, if we have, so the next middle inserter is gonna grab from the second belt, but we need to find a way to grab on this outside belt. And these um, long-handed inserters only skip over one belt. So we would need to place it on, literally on the belt. But what we can do is we can kind of cheat this a little bit. Let's delete this right here. And then we can, whoops. We can add an underground belt here. That way this inserter, which is grabbing from this line is still grabbing it. But then it leaves room for these long handed inserters. So let's go ahead and do that for each setup that we have. So the underground belts are going in on the middle tile of the lab and ending on the middle tile as well. So we'll just go ahead and repeat that. Just making sure that we're always on the middle, middle tile. Perfect. And then we can redistribute that, the, the science at the end. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so now let's go ahead and physically put down our red inserters. Whoops. Let's turn it around. Finish out here. Beautiful. Okay, so now we can just add the science packs, packs back in and we finished our science that we were working on. Okay, so what's next? Um, it probably would be a good idea to start doing our projectile damage. Let's look at our map real quick, see if any biter nests have popped up. Uh, none yet, but these do take a while. And let's see here, grenade grenade damage is big as well against those biters. Uh, let's get the walls first so we can start working on military science pack. And then that way we can start building military science while we're researching our weapon shooting speed. Um, and I think the weapon shooting speed down the line, yeah, it uses the gray science up until level five. Um, so yeah, we'll use that in order to make our shooting more efficiently or more efficient, uh, using less bullets for more damage. And then once we kind of, once we research through that tree down to about through four, um, that's probably going to be a good time to go ahead and grab, grab some land and go on a little bit of a biter hunt. Um, yeah, I think that's a good plan. We are gonna need engine as well. We're gonna wanna build a car to get around quickly. Uh, what's the next thing to use? Oh, we need red logistics for a car? I was, was not aware. So let's queue that up. Ooh, also automation too. That's another big one. And then we'll, we'll get to gun turret gun turret soon. Okay. Uh, before we do anything, let's go ahead and, wow, that thing already finished. <laughs> that was quick. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more labs. We needed eight more, I believe. Yes, yeah, so let's just take the 10 and then right click two times inside, put two back. That way we're not taking more than we need. 
Military science, already done. Man, those 28 labs are really making our life easy right now. Um, okay, now we got eight more labs going, which should make that research go even faster, which we'd love to see. All right, as we make our way back down, let's see if there's anything else that we can prove upon in our mall or did we, we said we got the, the green there the gray signs yeah so let's go ahead and actually start doing that and then that way we can start stock stockpiling um some grenades as well as uh i'm missing the term uh the was the the red bullets i forget what they're called what are, what are these red bullets called piercing rounds yeah okay so we're gonna need a little bit of room here i'm gonna leave some space and then let's see here okay gray science let's go over the recipe so we're gonna need three recipes going on two belts usually i like to put the recipe with the most quantity on a belt by itself so in this case it's going to be the two wall pieces so i'll put that on a belt by itself uh on the other belts we're gonna have piercing rounds as well as grenades let's go ahead and make grenades first so let's look at the recipe for that which is 10 coal and five iron plate how many grenades are we gonna need so this recipe produces two military science pack per second which is fantastic um and it needs 10 second crafting time. So we will need 10 assemblers to make one recipe or two military science pack per second. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and make 10 grenade, grenade factories. Uh, let's do that right here, yeah. Uh, let's let's move that over a tad. I like that look better. Anyways, uh, okay, grenades, grenades, grenades. Yeah, right here. So grenades are gonna need ten coal and five iron plate. So. This actually might be a good time for the red belts, which we're, we're making red belts right now. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hold off on belting in the products for right now, but I can put in a fast inserter and then a yellow inserter. Yes. And then I'm gonna double this or not double this, but copy and paste it. So that's two, four, six, eight, 10. That's gonna produce one grenade per second. And we're almost there with the red belts and that way we'll add them to our mall as well. And then on the other side we have We have these uh, piercer piercing rounds. Okay, so to, in order to create one piercing round, we need five copper plate, one steel plate, and one yellow firearm magazine. In order to do a yellow yellow ammo, we need just an iron plate. So this is going to make our yellow ammo. Well, while, while we're at it, let's go ahead and add some lights. And as you heard, we just finished our uh, red belt research. So I'll go ahead and pick some of that up. Hmm. So these will output. How many, how many products do I need? I need three products. 
but here I actually I need to move these back by one I think I usually put these guys first anyway so that might be why I'm being thrown off a tad um we need these blue inserters in there oops there we go okay so on this side of the belt I can bring in my iron plate and then output my uh man I can't talk my my yellow ammo my yellow ammo I cannot put it there on the same belt which is fine it's not a big deal and then I'll bring in the copper and steel plate. So let's go ahead and do inputs there as well as inputs here and then output on the far belt in the middle. Yes, that should work. Okay, so this is gonna be iron plate. Let's go ahead and do that first while we that's probably the simplest one. Automation is done. Lovely. Actually. Okay. No, 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 no. I messed that up. I want it on one side of the belt. Like that. Because this is going to be outputting on this same belt. And whenever an inserter outputs into a belt, it'll also it'll always output it onto the far side. So if you're dealing with two different commodities on a belt, um, this is the way to, to do it without contaminating the, the far side of the belt right here. So you gotta only have the iron plate on the right side or the near side, and then you will output on the far side. So that way the yellow ammunition is going to keep on going and then will be consumed by these three assemblers right here. Um, on this side, we need five copper plate per second and one steel plate per second. That's going to come here. And it doesn't necessarily matter which side you put them on. However, I like to have the product closest to the um, the assemblers over here be on the near side of the belt just because it's easier to do it because like for example steel is going to be coming on this side and it's a lot easier to cross over and loop back around up top than it is at the bottom here when you already have a belt going through and this power pole just is not in a good position. And this tree is just making life hard. That's too far, so I'm gonna need, oops. Let's see if that'll reach. That will, okay, perfect. So that'll cross, that'll cross, oops. That'll keep going through, keep going through and keep going through. Not the prettiest, but this power pole just did not make it e easy for us. Okay, so now, yes, these are going. Perfect, okay. So now we will belt in the other products. Let's go ahead and add red belts to the equation here in the mall. Red, red, Red. And I'm keeping the same products in line with their upgrades. Oh, 
All right. That's good. I'm going to keep an open cap on that. Have 100 be the cap here. And I'm going to do 200 for the underground belts here. All of our research is done. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and start on the weapon shooting speed as well as the physical projectile damage. Go ahead and do that. That's good cap to 200, no cap, and then 100. Perfect, what are they missing? Oh, they're missing gears, of course. Um, perfect. Awesome. They're making. They're making. Okay, let's go ahead and while, nah, that's fine. We'll, we can handcraft some red belts just to make it a little quicker. 37, I don't want 37. I want these guys to make belts for me. Ooh, one thing that we can add is the new assemblers. And that'll make everything super quick. I'll add the chest here. Place a cap of 50 on that. And then what does this need? It needs some green circuit as well as the gears and steel plate. I can bring this towards the middle here. Come on, there we go. Yeah, towards the middle here, turn, and then go Let's go underground there. Okay, let's grab some more underground belts. Fix this lane. All right. That's good there. And these should be making more assemblers now. Perfect. Let's go ahead and replace these two while I'm here. It'll make it quicker. Let's add another uh, inserter here for the gear wheels. There we go, now it's really going. All right. Let's go ahead and replace some of these factories here with their blue counterparts. It'll make everything go faster. What are we missing? Ooh, we're running out of iron. Okay, that can be something that we also take care of this episode. So need to replace the science factories as well. Did I grab belts? Should probably grab belts. <laughs> All right, 107, that's perfectly fine. So yeah, we are really running short on iron plate. Okay, um, here, I just wanna do this first so I don't forget about it because knowing me, I will forget, um, but we'll deal with this first and then get some more smelting going. Okay, so this needs half a belt of coal, right? Yeah. Okay, so red belts, uh, they tra instead of transporting 15 items per second, like the yellow belts, they actually double that. So on one side of the belt, you'll have 15 items per second throughput max. And then on the other side, you'll have another 15 items per second throughput max. So that's why I wanted to upgrade to a red belt on, belt on this because you could fit each of these commodities on each side of the belt and then have enough product on it for what you needed. Um, if we're just using a, a yellow belt, we'd have 
enough throughput for the iron plates, but we fall short by 2.5 coal per second. We would only get 7.5 since a full yellow belt transports 15 items per second. So that's why since we're already researching the yellow belts, I wanted to do, um, I wanted to wait for that. So let's go ahead and we will put the iron plate, whoops, here with output here. Actually, I need to, I need to bring it back. And then have it underground here. Because I need to bring, oh, I need some underground belts. Actually, no, I don't. I don't. I can use the yellow belt on this. And you see here, a full yellow belt is going through. Oh, well, now you can't because there's, <laughs> there's no more. But a full yellow belt will take up a full half of a red belt. Um, and then after that, we need coal. So that's going to be coming from this side. And where's the coal on? It's on the second belt. So let me do this. I'm actually going to need, hmm, how am I going to do this? This might be the best option like that. There we go. And then I'll just have this go underneath. Yeah, because I want the coal to be on that side of the belt. Okay, and then the coal will keep on going. Uh, we only got 90 belts. That's not gonna be enough. Okay, in order to make more smelting columns, we're gonna need a lot more uh, furnaces uh, inserters. Let's grab some of those. We're going to need, I don't think we need wooden poles. Let me just double check. Yeah, we will. Uh, okay. So let's grab some wooden poles. Let's grab about say 150 just to be safe. And then inserters. We have a bunch furnaces. We got a decent amount. Do I need anything else? I'm going to need underground belts, splitters, and then a bunch of belts. Perfect. So that looks good there. I think what I'm gonna do, so we finished our science today. We added a little bit to the mall. We're running on that, you know, 35 minute mark. If I go and do the other smelting columns, we're gonna need a lot more time. So what I'm gonna do instead, for these next you know, five to 10 minutes, I'm going to, um, I'm going to flesh out this mall a tad bit more, see if there's anything I need to upgrade or do anything of that sort before I head over up there. Also, let's look at our power. Okay, we're good on power. extend my underground belts out perfect okay so those are good to go we have more assemblers, so let's go ahead and replace all of these. Even though tech, even though we don't need the the speed boost that they provide just yet, but it's good to just get ahead of it while we can. Okay, and then we'll put everything back into this production. 
Okay, so what else can we do? We can do on this side, let's do some, oh, I should probably switch them out here as well. These are gonna be our blue belts. We are gonna need the next level of smelting soon. So let's go ahead and add that over here. And that next level of smelting is going to be, oh, did I not research it? Oh no, I didn't. Okay, but we can start putting down walls. So the next level of research, let's look at the recipe. Um, we'll need stone brick and steel plate. So if we're gonna use stone brick, might as well use it elsewhere as well. So let's go ahead and get the wall walls in here. And then we can direct insert into gates right here, which we don't have gates, ironically. Um, let's go ahead and research that first and then gates just because we're talking about it. Yeah. And then we will do, what do we need? Grenades are good. Engines are good. Or we're going to use engines on the other side. Oh, let's do, let's do repair packs. Um, repair packs are going to need green circuits. So let's go ahead. Green circuits are going to come over here. You know what? No, they're not. They're going to come over here because this space right here. I only want for, I only want for the iron, or for, not for the iron, but for the, for the, man, I cannot talk. The, the stone, stone, that's what I want. One, two, stone's gonna come through here. And it's gonna take from here and here, there we go. And we need steel as well. So let's bring steel on the other side. One, two, and steel will be coming on this side. Okay, so that looks good. And then let me just add a couple more layers. I'm gonna do that on this side too. Just to have one, two, All right, this mall's starting to look good. Okay, so this is gonna output here. We're gonna need a decent amount of furnaces. We're gonna need a lot of walls. This is gonna be our gate, which gates are almost done. And let's, let's have a direct insertion. So it'll split from going out here and going to the gates. And then the gates are gonna be output as well and we're gonna cap that to two. So let's go ahead, make our gates. What else do they need? So they need steel as well, just coming from here. And then green circuit, which green circuit we can take from, from back here, right? Yeah. And then, so what else we got? 
I think that's good for now. I'm going to need to bring down the stone, make some more uh, iron plate as well as a little bit more copper plate. Okay, let's go ahead and add some lights as well while we're here. What does this need? A green circuit? Hmm. So this needs green circuit. This also needs green circuit. Okay, I got an idea. I'm going to do something a little cheeky here. Go underneath here. Underneath here. So I'm going to use something that uses steel on here and then turn it in and then do something like this. And then I could, boom, that works. Because if I turn this, now it bleeds in. So I want to turn it in so it cuts off and I don't bleed in to there. Okay, so that's being made. Let's go ahead and, oh, I need more. I got some repair packs, perfect. I'm gonna cap that at one full stack. And I think, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. It's a little bit of a shorter one. I think it's gonna be around, you know, 40, 40 minutes. Ah, it's not that short. <laughs> it's not that short in the scheme of things. Uh, I want to thank you so much for joining me this episode. We have our work cut out for us in the next episode. We need to increase our smelting of both iron plate uh, and probably copper plate, to be honest. We're going to do both then. We're going to bring down um, our stone as well as our stone brick. We got to bring all that down and flesh out all the stuff from our uh, initial base. And yeah, I'm just excited to move this playthrough forward. Our, our base is really kind of coming to fruition and I'm really excited. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It really does help me out. And then I know what kind of content you guys like. Obviously, I'm starting out with Factorio. But then the style and length of video, I really need feedback on. So please leave your suggestions on how you want the, the playthrough to go in the comments down below. I'd love to meet any of y'all that are watching. I love the fact that you guys are even watching to begin with. It still blows my mind. Um, I do stream every Thursday and Sunday over on twitch.tv slash So if you do like the content and you want a little bit, you want to be a little bit more one-on-one -on -one with me, be sure to check me out over there. I stream Thursday and Sunday afternoon. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.